welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I own Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Chevy Equinox, courtesy of Younger Nissan in Frederick, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So yes, they just got one of these in on trade. So I haven't reviewed it yet, so I wanted to hop into it, obviously. But there are actually plenty of changes for the 2023 Equinox, including more power this year, new colors, and a new braking system as well this is a very good looking SUV in my opinion and essentially it's going to be competing with other vehicles like the Honda CRV the Mazda CX-50 and the Toyota RAV4 just to name a few of them so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2023 equinox first one being the ls starting at twenty seven thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars lt which is the one we are in today starting at twenty nine thousand ninety five dollars rs for thirty two thousand ninety five dollars lastly the premiere starting at thirty three thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars and by the way that was all pricing for the front wheel drive configuration if you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those trim levels simply add sixteen hundred dollars but so the regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 175 horsepower and yes that is a five horsepower bump from the previous model year so extra five horsepower it's better than nothing but 203 pound feet of torque sent to the front wheels or all wheels through a six speed automatic transmission zero to 60 time coming in at approximately eight seconds flat with mpg numbers coming in at 26 in the city 31 on the highway for the front wheel drive 24 city 30 30 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel but so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the equinox here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 equinox here up to speed and here we go All right, it's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely not the quickest thing I've ever driven, but you shouldn't have any issues in merging onto the highway. Zero to 60 in eight seconds. It's, I don't know. I usually like less than eight seconds. I'll just put it that way, but it's not bad for an SUV, I guess. So anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 16 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 16 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, comes in at 121 feet. And by the way, I did say there was a new braking system for the 2023 Equinox. Essentially, the way that works is they switched from a vacuum based braking system to an electronically assisted braking system. So as far as that braking feel goes now, Okay, it almost skidded there. It's incredible. It instantly brings you to a stop. So that is a very, very quick braking system. So I remember saying that I liked the braking system before too, but I feel like this one's better. So good upgrade, Chevy. I like it. So then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, four link rear suspension. As far as ride quality goes, it's actually been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today. I actually like it. So absolutely no complaints from me there. As far as cabin noise goes, we are going, what are we going? 35 miles per hour right now there's a little bit of road noise but wind noise i will say is definitely held at bay i've had no complaints there but a little bit of road noise has to be expected in this type of vehicle but as far as steering feel goes it's not bad it's not the heaviest steering feel of course you wouldn't expect it to be but it's not as loose of a steering feel as you traditionally find on other SUVs. I will put it that way. So I would probably say it's just right. I don't know. That's a good way to phrase it. And touching on visibility as far as that goes, looking at my rear view mirror right now, I can see perfectly fine actually out the back. So 100% no complaints from me there either. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Chevy Equinox. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Chevy Equinox finished in Summit White. And so since I mentioned the color name, as far as the new colors go for 2023, they will include Radiant Red Tint Coat, Harvest Brown Metallic, and Sterling Gray Metallic. So if you wanted one of the newest colors, those are going to be it. But let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the number three, indicating that the Equinox is built and assembled in Mexico. So that is where this one is going to be built. But let's go ahead and start up front. LED headlights do come standard for every single trim level across the board. I love that. Of course, with LED daytime running lights as well. Do get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But you also get automatic high beams. So if you have 
have your high beams on at night and since the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when the vehicle is gone it's going to bounce back up to high beams for you there and if you wanted fog lights go with the premier trim level that is how you're going to go ahead and get them but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's not go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so we're now taking a look at the side profile here. Roof rails are going to come standard on the RS and Premier. Black window surrounds do come standard. But one thing I always like the Chevy does is you got the Equinox lettering spelled out on the front doors in chrome. That definitely looks good up there. Heated power adjustable side mirrors will come standard for all trim levels. You will get integrated turn signals if you go with the Premier trim level. And then body colored if you go with the LT trim level and up. If you go with that LS, it's essentially like a matte black finish in case you were curious about that but take a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch aluminum alloys for the ls and lt that of course is what you guys are looking at right now i think they actually look good i like this style but 19 inch aluminum alloys for the rs in case you haven't figured it out the rs is the sportier trim level of the bunch and then 18 inch aluminum alloys for the premiere but that pretty much rounds out the side profile now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the Equinox, all the way up top, you will find a matte black shark fin antenna. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that rear window wiper. If you wanted LED tail lights, go with the RS or Premier trim levels. Do you have some trim level badging found at the bottom right hand corner of that rear lift gate there? And then just below it all, it is kind of tucked away, but there actually is a single exhaust outlet down there. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here. Here is that exhaust clip. So now since you are around to the back of the Equinox, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it's going to be a manual lift gate for the LS and LT trim levels, power lift gate for the RS. It's going to be optional on the LT though, and then a hands-free power lift gate for the premier trim level. Now we'll say we do have that optional power lift gate on our LT, so that is pretty cool. There's a button on the key fob that you can control it through that. There's also a button on the lift gate itself, but either way, we got the power lift gate, so I like that. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 29.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split bumping that up to 63.9 cubic feet with all rears folded 12 volt power outlet back there was surprised to see that i like that cargo lighting you got some grocery bag hooks some tie down anchors and to my surprise you do have in-floor storage but it's a decent amount of in-floor storage so even some larger suvs don't have this much in-floor storage so i like how chevy pulled that off however they pulled that off but then make your way up to the rear legroom coming in at 39.9 inches again very impressive for reference i'm an even six feet tall i had plenty of space back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders for all trim levels across the board got rear ventilation coming stay for all trim levels as well dual rear usb charging ports and then if you wanted heated rear seats that is available that actually does come standard on the premier trim level so obviously we don't have that one today but then make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the ls and by the way that cloth seating also comes on the lt and the rs trim levels perforated leather coming on the premier there will be an eight-way power driver's seat with the lt trim level and up heated front seats for the rs and premier trim levels and then ventilated front seats are going to be optional for the Premier, but I will say seating has 100% been plenty fine for me in my short test drive here today. That may be due in part because they are power adjustable and there is power lumbar that is quite adjustable. I will say that. I always like when the power lumbar is super adjustable because not all power lumbars are built equally and some of them aren't that adjustable. But in the Equinox, it was certainly plenty comfortable seating, but then taking a look at the steering wheel, this tilt and telescoping, it is leather wrapped for the RS and Premier, optional on the LT, and then it will be heated on the premier trim level as well then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you got your chevy bowtie logo on the one side when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button that's going to be your remote start always love seeing those so you can warm up the equinox on super cold days here in western maryland and it'll be all nice and toasty for you but it is all keyless entry with the push button starts all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so 
Once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is to your right, and there is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. That's gonna give you things like a digital speedometer. There's your trip A, trip B, average miles per gallon. There's how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your oil life meter. I always like checking that out. There's tire pressure for each individual tire. There's air filter life. So it's basically everything you could possibly want up there. The only thing I did not find was a uh, an outside temperature. Wouldn't have minded seeing that as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. There's a panoramic power sunroof available for the LT trim level and up. We obviously don't have that option. Overhead sunglass holder coming standard for the LT trim level and up. I like that. Universal home remote coming standard for the Premier. It's going to be the garage door openers. Dual zoom climate control for the RS and Premier. You're also going to get a wireless phone charger for the Premier as well. But when it comes to overall interior quality, we'll say everything is definitely on the basic side of things. Just in front of the shifter though, you do have a little bit of rubberized storage. You got a bunch of charging ports, 12 volt power power outlet got dual cup holders just to the right of the shifter there electric mechanical parking brake a little more storage and then within the center armrest now that is impressive I, I think the space on the equinox they did a really good job with the space there is a ton of space within that center armrest more so than i expect and you got some led lighting in there too but again a lot of hard plastic specifically around the cup holders and the shifter here I always kind of critique the matte black plastic because in my mind it's so easy to swap that out even if you keep it plastic just for something with the design a little more design element to it so I would have liked to have seen that but overall like I said everything is on the basic side it's very functional though it's easy to find everything but so then make your way to the infotainment screen here seven inch color touchscreen display will come on the LS LT and RS trim levels then you got an eight inch color touchscreen display for the premier trim level either way you get Bluetooth and audio streaming but here's one of the best parts every single trim level is gonna give you wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay so most vehicles, even nowadays, you still have to plug it into the car, but to have wireless on every single trim level, that is amazing. So I love that. Factory navigation system is gonna be optional for the LT trim level and up. Check out your climate control settings up there as well as your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, you will find six speakers for all trim levels across the board. And then a seven speaker Bose sound system is gonna be optional for the RS and Premier. So having said that, we do have the six speaker sound system with us here today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. and. Let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, so I remember testing this sound system before, and quite honestly, for six speakers, it's not all that bad. So there's a decent amount of bass there. That was FM radio. That wasn't even Sirius XM, by the way. So the clarity does get better, but that clarity wasn't that great because it's FM, but still, the bass is decent, the clarity is decent when you hook up the audio streaming or when you play Sirius XM, but I will say that's not a bad six speaker sound system for what a six speaker sound system can sound like, I'll put it that way. But anyways, last thing I wanna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Equinox in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Not the very highest quality rear view camera, but it is there nonetheless, letting you know what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so I always like to start with IIHS. This is not a top safety pick, unfortunately, due to the crash test ratings. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitor, monitoring system but also coming standard automatic emergency braking a following distance indicator forward collision alert from pedestrian braking and lane keep assist with lane departure warning and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the equinox i love the wireless connectivity the wireless android auto apple car play that is something I wish I had on my cars and uh, definitely something that most vehicles don't do right now. Rear seat legroom is great, 39.9 inches. That is more than uh, even a lot of bigger SUVs. So that's very impressive there. As far as the room for improvement goes, I would have loved to have seen some digital gauges, like a full digital gauge cluster. I know Chevy can do it. And uh, a lot of the competitors right now are doing it as well in its class. So I would have loved to have seen that. And ambient lighting would be pretty darn cool my particular opinion as well but anyways let me know what you guys think of the equinox in the comment section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold